Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to add deadline to queue in the UI path. Do you know what is deadline? So deadline is the date before which the queue item should be processed. So I am going to show you how to add deadline to queue. So I have this Excel file. Let me open this. And we are going to add 10 items to queue and along with this 10 items I am going to set deadline to these items. So here we have this orchestrator queue and we are going to add items to queue and we will see here the deadline applied to these items or not. So for that there are two three ways to do that. First we can pass the deadline from this excel second we can directly pass in the add queue item activity let me show first with the activity so we'll take here read range activity and i'm going to use this workbook activities click on this and select this excel file take the seat name copy and paste here remove this range create one data table put the name dt underscore transaction data so store this data in a data table take this as a header also now take one for each data table write here dt underscore transition data so it will take one by one row from this data table now take here add queue item now here we need to pass deadline you can see in the input deadline and the item that you want to add to queue and queue name so our queue name is this priority queue copy this double quotation paste here now go to item information collection copy this field name that column name create here write here current row of that column name dot to string click ok now here in the deadline you need to pass in a date time format so how can you do that so obviously you will not pass your hard coded value either you will take the data from excel or you can write some expression to take date time automatically right so how will you write that so we need to write date time dot today dot add days so we have add days add hours add minutes add seconds add years so you can use here so your item will be your items deadline will be set based on this if you'll write here add days open close bracket one so what will happen deadline will be today's date plus one so it means deadline date will be set as a 17th february for all these items if you want to put deadline date as a 18th so we'll write here add days 2 so it will add 2 days in today date so based on that you can put here now if you want to add month so let's say current month is fab and you want to process next month so you'll write here add months 1 if if you want to just process this item uh, within a next hour so you can put here add hours so it, you can put like this so i'm going to write here add days one so 17th fab will be applied here now click ok close this and run this go to view transaction currently we don't have any records here now refresh this 
So we just now added 10 records here. Let me refresh this. We just now added 10 records here in the queue and you can see the deadline that is 17th February. So today is 16. So we added one day. So it, it is showing here 17th February so, and the date format is MMDDYY and this is HHMMSS and TT like AM or PM format like that. Basically, it is taking automatically based on the formula, but if you want to pass it manually from the Excel, then I'm going to show you how to do that. So there are other way to add deadline to queue. So we have this data and each item, let's say uh, out of 10, we have five items where the deadline is different and the five items where the deadline is different like that. So we can take it by this way. We can write a deadline column or deadline date, something like that. And then, so that is just to like indicate that this column will have deadline date. We are not going to pass it directly uh, we, uh, to the queue. We'll just take this as a deadline date. And then we can pass here in the format MMDDYY or other format you can also use like DDMMYY. So what will happen automatically based on your data, Indian time, that data will be changed to Q, right? So if you're passing 71702-2022, so in Q automatically it will convert to 02 slash 17 slash 2022 like that. So we'll write here, let's say date is 17-02-2022. So it says that 17th of February 2022. We are going to write here 18th of February and just increase that and let's see what is the date now. So we can do like that. So it's 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th like that. Just replace few data here. And now we have this data. So we want to set deadline, this deadline to this account number, this deadline to this account number. So just close this and now we are going to take data the deadline from excel so click on this add queue item go to deadline now remove this and take it from queue uh, from your excel so we'll write here current row open close bracket double quotation or column name is deadline now it will just accept date time so what we need to do we need to write convert dot to date time open and then close bracket click ok so you can see it will work in this way convert dot to date time current row of deadline so it will take just data from excel and we are not going to pass in the item information so only we are going to add account information there right now go here and now i'm going to just delete this so that i can show you a fresh record copy this queue for future purpose and now let me and we created a new queue and then let's run this file so we just added deadline date in ddmmyy format and you will see here once data added to queue it will change the format of the deadline and now you can see the deadline date is 0226 it means 26 february like that here you can see 17 fab 18 fab 19 fab 20 fab like that so by this way you can add deadline to queue so one way that you can directly write a vv expression in the deadline in add queue items second way you can take data from excel you can update the excel with the date you can populate the data there and then automatically it will take data in the loop and it will write to queue so if you have multiple deadline date you will go through this way from excel and you, you if you have just like one day of option like plus one or plus two like that so you can directly put a, a vb expression to add the deadline date and the date format you can put i have shown that that 
two way you can pass in mmdd yy format and automatically while adding to q automatically this will convert to mmdd yy so first is that second you can write same as this format mmdd like mmdd yy and that should be in the slash slash format like that so by this way you can add deadline to q items so i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you